So the second part of the experiment, we need to compare our results from room temperature to results at 37, which is actually your body temperature where salivary amylase is normally working. So to simulate body temperature, I'm going to take our three, con our three test tubes, saliva and water, starch and water, and saliva and starch, and I'm going to put them in a 37 degree water bath for 15 minutes. And then we'll come back after 15 minutes and we'll conduct the Benedicts and the iodine test again. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm going to take the tubes out of the 37 degrees Celsius and we're going to conduct the Benedicts test and the iodine test again. So I'm going to set up for my Benedicts test first. Take 20 drops of my saliva and water, one test tube. Next is my, I want to make sure I swallow it first, water and starch, two test tube. Then my last one is my starch and saliva and two a test tube. A little bit more for that one. Okay. Now I'm going to add my 20 drops of Benedicts to each one. And again, the Benedicts is blue, and if we're going to see a color change, um, we're going to have to heat it. So we're going to put it back into the boiling water bath for about five minutes and see if. Um, any monosaccharides are present. Okay, so the Benedict's test again is going to tell us if we have any smaller sugars in the test tubes. Okay, so I've already labeled each one. I'm going to stick them in the boiling water bath and we will check in in about five minutes and see if we have any color change. So it's been about five minutes and now we're going to look at the results of our Benedict's test on the three test tubes after they've been heated um, to 37 degrees Celsius, which is body temperature. Okay, so here is the results of number one. This was saliva and water. Number two was starch and water. And then number three is, was originally saliva and starch. Remember, the Benedict's test is testing for smaller sugars, monosaccharides. Make sure you record your results in your table. So we need to conduct an iodine test on our samples after heating to 37 degrees. So here is my water and saliva. Here is my water and starch. Again, just a little bit into the spot plate. And then lastly, we have starch and saliva. So if there is a polysaccharide-like starch present, we're going to see a, a black or a darkening color. And again, this is after we have heated these to 37 degrees Celsius. And you can see I left the original ones up there so that you could make a comparison to see if it was more black or less black or the same amount of black or no black as compared to the first test that we did. Okay, so the, the first set that was at room temperature are the top three, and then the second set, which we did at after 37 degrees Celsius, so the iodine test um, is the bottom three.